guys and welcome back. It's Charlotte, okay? AKA Little Bit of Sunshine. Home and Brighton for your day, no matter what the weather. And now that it is summer, I have decided to do a summer tag. I got this on tagquestions.net. And yes, I did write the questions out because when I do it on my phone, I always get distracted by my phone. So I decided to get rid of that this time and actually just write them out and read them like and answer them off the paper. So there is 20 questions in total. I think I may have just said that, but I'll just said it again. Um, and I'm gonna answer them. Simple as that. Um, question one. Are you a summer person? I like to believe I'm a summer person, but I'm probably more of a spring person. Um, summer can get too hot for me. I am fair skinned, like hello. <laughs> and when it's too hot, I burn very easily. I always burn my nose. You'll see in the next few weeks, I'll have a burnt nose. I'll go on Instagram or something much, or Snapchat or whatever. Question two, what is your favorite thing about summer? My favorite thing about summer is definitely people's attitudes. And you're like, that is the weirdest answer to that question of all time. But it is true. Everyone just seems more positive and in a better mood in the summer. I don't know what it is. It's just, I guess, better weather and just better moods. Better, more vitamin D in their life. Um, question three, do you stay indoors or outdoors more in the summer? That really depends on the weather. If it is too hot or too sunny, I will have to come indoors because as I said, very skinned. Um, but if it's like not too sunny, I will do a lot more like outdoor kind of stuff. I look going for walks when it's like that just nice weather, when it's not too hot. Um, question four, what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Okay. Previous to being dairy free, I would have said mint chocolate chip. Isn't that, yeah, mint chocolate chip. But now that I'm like dairy free, like I would have to go with the Ben and Jerry's Chunky Monkey only because I haven't been able to get my hands on a mint chocolate chip vegan ice cream. There is one that exists. Um, it is 8 euro a tub and I just cannot justify spending 8 euro on a tub of ice cream that's like, yeah, that's, and that's, that's not Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> Even like, I had to justify spending like 5 or 6 euro on Ben and Jerry's to myself sometimes and even that I can't justify that half the time. So like spending 8, 50 or 10 euro sometimes on a mint chocolate chip, it, it, it's just not like, it's just not that. So um, I'm gonna go with the Chunky Monkey Ben and Jerry's, which is super nice. If you like, I'm looking for a dairy free ice cream, that one's so good. But so are all the Alpro ones as well, and Swedish guys. Like any ice cream, ice cream is like my favorite food. Like this is like the worst question. I really any ice cream. <laughs> question five, what is your favorite summer clothing? Ooh, I'm gonna say denim shorts. I love wearing denim shorts. In the, win oh, in the winter. I love wearing them in the winter. Doesn't make a lot of sense to wear them in the winter though. I love wearing denim shorts in the summer and uh, crop tops and uh, all summer clothes. Summer clothes are my favourite type of clothes. I know some people like prefer wearing like woolly jumpers or whatever but like I just love like on summer clothes shopping. The majority of my wardrobe is summer clothes even though I live in Ireland which is really really not practical but um, the majority of my wardrobe would be summer clothes like seriously i have a suitcase behind my bed full of summer clothes i have loads of summer clothes in my wardrobe i literally have a pile of shorts in my wardrobe you've probably seen it in my room tour like i just love summer clothes but unfortunately we don't get the weather for it so i always tell my mom that i'm just saving up my clothes when i'm out to park rico <laughs> so maybe in one day maybe one day my wardrobe will be practical because i'll be using it in the country that will be practical Logic. Um, question six: Beach or swimming pill? Oh, swimming pill. I, I don't know. What, like an outdoor swimming pill if it's like summer, uh, or even an indoor one. I suppose it's still great to the beach. I'm not a bit. I don't hate the beach. I'm just not the biggest beach fan. Um, I but I prefer to be at a pill, just because it's less complicated usually. Question seven: What do you like the most about the beach? Um. I don't really like much about the beach. <laughs> I guess like it's always an adventure when I go to the beach. Um, I like building sandcastles and like digging holes, which is really really odd for a 24 year old to say, but it is one of like my favourite-ish things to do with the beach. So I'm gonna go with that. Um, question eight: What is your least favourite thing about the beach? Sand everywhere. 
it's not fun. <laughs> Question nine, what is your favorite summer song? Oh, that's hard. Oh, summer, it, like, do you, does music have seasons? Like, I suppose like, I, I, there's gonna be some Egypt that writes on like this, going, yeah, show the Christmas songs. But apart from like Christmas songs, only really be someone being sung at Christmas. Like, is there like designated time to listen to other songs? I, I don't really think there is, but um, I guess anything like EDM-ish kind of like party kind of fun, you know, poppy, whatever. I don't know, like I don't have a specific favorite summer song. Do, do, does anybody else, if you, if you have a favorite summer song, drop it down in the comments box and make me feel like an age. Please, I beg you. <laughs> Question 10, favorite summertime movie? Again, really designated movies? Season. Apart from Christmas, oh, there's always gonna be that one. Egypt. I get that there's Christmas movies, but like I've never really thought of any other movies as being like, oh, that's a real option movie or that's a real summer movie. Like, if anything, to me, like summer is not the time to be watching movies. Um, I guess if I had to think of one off the top of my head, a summertime movie that's like based in summer it would be like Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing came to my head that time when I was talking about the topic of summer because obviously, like, they go to like the place for the summer holidays so I guess it's somewhat a summertime movie so I'm gonna go Dirty Dancing I'm in the old Dirty Dancing not that new crap movie oh my god if you have not watched the new Dirty Dancing I swear to god do not waste your time I thought like I've said to myself yeah, I know it's not going to be as good as the original it's never going to be as good as the original I went into it with that expectation saying it's going to be bad it exceeded my expectations of bad oh my god awful movie do not watch it do not recommend for so many reasons. I could do a 10 minute rant about why I dislike that movie, like seriously. And I'm like, I'm not a big ranter about like why I hate movies. I can tell you like one or two little things of why I wouldn't enjoy a movie, but like that one I could like literally write an essay. Um, question 11, what is your favorite summertime restaurant? Again, what's this like seasonal food? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't really eat out anymore, so like I guess now where is really my summertime restaurant? Shauna's Kitchen. <laughs> um, question twelve: Do you eat out more during the summer? I used to when I was younger, cause like you get like ice creams on your way or fish and chips or whatever. But like now, no, not really, not all. <laughs> Eating out is a dangerous game when you are gluten intolerant. Like vegan, yeah, like that's grand, you know. Vegans are floating everywhere, but like. Gluten is just such a dangerous thing. Don't you business that gluten? Question Turkey. Do you party a lot more in the summer? No, I'm not really. Um, I'm not like I'm not little. I'm not a session mod, is what like people in fingers would say. I'm not a big partier for anybody else in the world. Like I'm not a party as much as person. Like, I'm, I'm a real. I'm not that I'm an introvert, but I guess that's what you would consider me because I don't party that much. But um, I'm just not a big party person. Um. Question 15, no, question 14, oh, skipped when I was. Uh, what is your best summertime memory? I guess from when I was a kid, like all them, like, like more, like even teenage kind of years, all fun things. I remember one year having a water fight with one of my best friends. That was probably one of my favorite summertime movies. Oh, movies, memories. Um, it was an unexpected fight and um, I was up to getting a new top from Bershka and I was not impressed that he decided to um, soak me from head to toe <laughs> in my new top but um, looking back now I find it funny back, back that day I did not find it funny and let's just say we didn't talk for a good hour which was a long time back then for me not to talk to my friend. Um, question 15 what annoys you most about the summer? I guess the thing that really annoys me most now that I'm an adult is that everyone's kind of off skill at the time so like everywhere is packed the shops aren't like easy to go to anymore nowhere is fun to go to anymore because everywhere is full of screaming kids or like screaming adults and stuff <laughs> sometimes I swear summer just seems to like pack places out more it's kind of like similar to Christmas in a way that like when people are off work or off school or whatever or off college just the shops are more full and as someone who likes to shop a lot I do not enjoy that I really do not like when people are in shops. I would much rather go to shops when shops are empty, so that's what I don't like about summer. Um, 
Question 16. What is your phoniest summertime memory? Can't take one off something yet. Oh my god, summer memories. Um There's this time that I went with one of my aunties to see clients in Dublin, which is probably the weirdest thing and makes no sense to anybody else in the world. But in Dublin, um any time of the year, no matter what day or week of the week it is, there's always people like spectating the planes taking off in Dublin Airport and coming in. And one day one of my aunties brought me down to see that and there's like this hill that was like you're supposed to climb it to like it was only a little tiny hill, like probably like me and a half. And I'm like I'm shocked, so like like that's not all at all. <laughs> and um, I decided to like climb it oddly, you're supposed to like go around the back of it and like like it's like a ramp in a way well, I decided that like I was gonna get up to it by climbing up the front of it like and it, I was wearing all white let's put it that way and I went flying down it in front of about 100 people and I just remember that <laughs> I don't know why that's my funniest one and um, it's probably it was funny for everyone else but me and um, question 17 do you spend more money during the summer I don't really think so I think Christmas is definitely the time I spend the most money. Do I spend more money in June and July compared to maybe February? I don't know, I guess it just it'll depend on what I'm doing that summer. Sometimes I spend very little during the summer, sometimes I might spend a fortune. Hard thing to kind of say, oh yes my expenses increase. Um, question 18, do you prefer to keep longer or shorter hair in the summer? I have not had a haircut in six years, but what is short hair? <laughs> Um, longer I'm gonna go with just because I don't know any different at this stage. Question 19 Who do you usually spend most of your summer with? Me, myself and Lona. Um, question 20 Where would you go for your dream summer vacation? Okay this sounds really crazy right I know could go anywhere in the world but you know where I'd love to go for like a summer for like a week or two? Brighton in England just the simplicity of Brighton in England. I would love to go there. Like I've been saying it for ages and people think I'm mad that, that that's where I want to go in the world. Brighton. It's literally across the pond. I, I, I should have gone by now but I still haven't. But um, yeah. That was the summer tag. <laughs> Bit of a weird one if I'm honest. I should have read the questions before I decided to do this video. Anyway it was somewhat enjoyable I guess. So if you enjoyed it comment down in the box, leave me a like, subscribe, just shout at me, I don't know, attack me on Twitter, I don't know, I'm just trying to make my <laughs> outro a bit different to everyone else, as everyone else is like, like and subscribe if you like this, I don't want to be like that, I don't want to be like, like everyone else, I want to be different, attack me on Twitter, come after me on Instagram, you know, slide in my DMs, and watch people will slide in my DMs and I'll be giving out about it next week. Um, please do not slide into my DMs if you are a creepy male. If you're a kill male, that's kill. If you're a kill female, that's kill. If you're a kill gender fluid person, that's kill. See, I remembered everyone today. <laughs> um, thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!